Philippines. Philippines was amazing. I mean, come on. Philippines. Oh. Let's just stop the video right here. Freaking Philippines, what the heck? Well, like I said, I said someone needed to blow the question out of the box to beat Philippines, and Philippines just blew, blew the question out of the box. Like she just, she just, she just won. South Africa or Venezuela need to, need Jesus. They need Jesus. Yeah! Yeah! I told y'all! I told y'all it was gonna be Sunday! I told y'all! Philippines. Catriona, she's got the total package. Since I saw the first photo when she won and she had that earring kind of going around the back, I sound like I have the biggest girl crush on her. She's so friendly, she's sweet, she shows off photos of her natural beauty. She has this balance of looking super sexy and then being cute and sweet and relatable and no makeup. She's crazy prepared, like you can just tell, like the team she's worked with, she knows exactly her styling, her dresses, but then she has photos where she has fun with her, with her fans, with kids. She's got a master's certificate in music theory. And again, you know, you have people who might say, oh, I just, you know, I love music and I'm a musician, but she actually went through the effort to go and get a master's in that. So once again, promoting a girl who believes in education and will promote that. I'm not gonna be surprised if she wins this, yeah. And she's got a unique look to her too. My personal favorite, she has been my favorite since she competed at Miss Worlds because I wanted her to win Miss World, and that is Philippines, Catriona Gray. I love this girl. I know so many people in the pageant world love this girl. She is so well-spoken. She is nice. She is beautiful. She, to me, is the person to beat, the one to beat at Miss Universe 2018. I think she's the strongest contender overall that I've seen, that I know about. I have followed her for a while, so I feel like I know a lot about her. And she for sure is my number one at this point. My number one still, I'm sorry to some people, but my number one still is Catriona Gray. I still think she's the one to beat in terms of overall strength, her walk, her look, her profile, the fact that she placed top five at Miss World. I think she just has a really strong profile for Miss Universe. She looks good without makeup. She looks good with makeup. She looks good with her hair up, down, back. She just, she always looks good and she just has the personality that people are really attracted to. So she's still my number one, my one to beat. It's interesting though to see swimsuit and you have some contestants that are walking. And then you have countries like Philippines who is walking okay Philippines oh let's just stop the video right here freaking Philippines what the heck she was amazing she worked it like no other in some suit as I watched Deshauna Barber's Instagram stories as she said like she didn't walk she like, she walked, like she freaking walked. Oh my gosh. That is someone that comes out and catches your eye immediately. She's from the Philippines. I know they've prepared her to win. So she is bringing it when it comes to her gown. I love the high slit. I'm pretty sure she's gonna have a new gown for finals. I would assume so. Philippines, are you kidding me? Oh my God. It was one of the best swimsuit walks I have seen in like a long time. I don't even know. Actually, this might be one of my favorite ever swimsuit walks at Miss Universe that I have seen. Sexy, but smiling. The turn. What? People had high expectations for her and I think she even outdid the expectations for the swimsuit competition. And for those calling her fat, you're wrong. Philippines, I mean, I feel like it's almost hard to argue with that one. Like the performance was amazing. Her performance was just 10 out of 10, 100%. Philippines! Philippines! Is that even a surprise? Is that even a surprise? We don't have to clap for that. We knew she was gonna be there. Congratulations, Philippines. We all saw that coming. Oh my gosh, you guys. She is such a well-spoken person. So charismatic. She's gonna be tough to beat. Walk, girl, kill them. Girl, you better, girl, you better kill them. Hunty, honey, look at her, girl. Walk, walk, Philippines. You see that? Walk, Katarina, let's get it. With me, no games. Philippines.
piece. Oh, that's has so much writing on this. And of course, that dress. My favorite. Now that dress is quite daring and different. I love the color. Yeah. That style. color is amazing. And Philippines. Oh my God. When that when I saw that gown, I didn't even know what to say i said to my husband i was like that gown <laughs> looks like it's on fire like so her gown was amazing the slit like it was unbelievable okay here's my reaction god i wish i had my reaction to this lava dress like even the coloring and just oh i feel the moment she stepped out in this it was game over nothing needs to be said also is it just me or like literally everything about the styling of this and her face she suits the mikimoto crown she just suits it. Did anyone else get straight Jessica Rabbit vibes from Catriona's dress? Like her dress, the side part, the motion, the look, like, oh! I felt like she was the real life Jessica Rabbit, but like a crazy classy queenly version of Jessica Rabbit. Giving me all the feels, guys. Philippines is really standing out amongst these shiny gowns, and I'm really happy she chose a color because I told, I've said it many times, I'm tired of these nude gowns and these silver diamond encrusted gowns. Philippines did really good with choosing a bright, bright color. She's standing out, and it is still shimmering and shining. It's just got color with it, and that's it's really smart on her part. And it's not just like one solid color. It seems like it's got. A little bit of orange in it, and I approve of this. This is good. Miss Universe 2018 is right there. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Y'all crown her. But holy crap, when Philippines came out in that red dress, she was the only one that gave me chills. The only one. I was like, that, whoa. That dress was outstanding. I loved how it was like different shades of red, and it almost looked like it was on fire. Yes. I mean, it was insanity. And then the way that she walked, which I'll get into that in a second, because her final look walk was like, that's when I was like, girls, yeah. just rest of you, pick up the scraps. I the crown is hers. When, when we see them all standing together, it was... Silver, 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 and then red Philippines in the middle. And it's like, that's all you could look at. And this is at the point where Philippines, like, kicked it into high gear, got some, like, nitrous oxide, like, up her butt, and just, like, took off like a freaking sports car. Yep. Uh, because, like, I felt like everyone else was left in the dust at this point. My eyes were just on her. Are you talking about the top five or when she answered her top three question? Well, standing in top five after they answered, oh. she's getting ready to be called out. So yeah. it was like silver, 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 and bright red in the middle. Right. So my eyes were just drawn to her. Of course. Then she got called out in top three, and then the way she answered her top three answer, I was like ridiculous. I know. At that point, I was like, give her the crown, and it's over. But she was in the top three, completely redeemed herself after she answered that question. I was like, and we're done. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. was it was a no brainer at that point. Like, uh, and then final look the walk where they come walking out she's the first one i was like i mean i don't even think i breathed the whole time she walked down the runway yeah it was just perfection the way that slit went up her leg the dress fit her perfectly the earring she, the, the ear the earring with the ear crawler that came up so the way cool. that she would go between like laughter and then like sexy and and then at the end of the runway the way she like hit her pose i was like I was just captivated. Yeah. And I don't think any, anything, like baby Jesus could come out of heaven himself and walk the runway. And I'd still be like, I'm sorry, baby Jesus. It's got to be Miss Philippines. It has to be her. Yeah, this was her. It was definitely hers to win for sure. Philippines wins. Each contestant will be asked the Philippines, same Philippines same wins. Why? One contestant answers, the other Okay, let me listen to these questions because unless someone blows this question out of the box, Philippines wins. Well, like I said, I said someone needed to blow the question out of the box to beat Philippines, and Philippines just blew, blew the question out of the box. Like she just, she just, she just won. South Africa or Venezuela need to, need Jesus. They need Jesus. Philippines won. Philippines won. I know Philippines won. There's, 
This is not not a question. This is not debatable. If Miss Universe does not crown Philippines, it's gonna be such an upset. It's gonna be, and I didn't, I wasn't even like a gigantic Philippines fan. I appreciate her, but I wanted, you know, Vietnam. But it's very obvious to me that Philippines won. Right? Yep. Yeah, it's definitely not all about Philippines. Looks. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing. Philippines, the unstoppable force, is back. Was she the one, it was the one originally forecasted to win, right? Yes. Philippines is back. Philippines has won. Philippines got her crowning moment. It's all about the Philippines again. Congratulations, Catriona Gray. She earned it. She deserved it. We all knew she would be tough to beat. I said, you know, the only way that, the only person that could have beat her to me was Vietnam. Other than that, Philippines was just a shoe in to win and everybody, a lot of people believe she was the overall contender to win and she came out and she did it. She's been extremely consistent. She, she won and she deserves her moment. She deserves this win. Congratulations, Philippines. supported this girl from when she was at Miss World and I thought she should have won Miss World but obviously she was on to bigger and better things and when she competed at Miss Universe Philippines and people were body shaming her I stood up for her in my Instagram stories because I know what it's like to go through that and she's just so amazing and beautiful and didn't deserve all that criticism. I have supported this girl for a long time and she has deserved every moment of this victory and it is very exciting. I told you guys. I said I was not gonna be surprised if Katrina won and she absolutely killed it last night. First of all, congratulations to Catriona. Girl, you are just everything a Miss Universe should be. I said it in my first video and I'll say it a thousand times over. You are the complete package and you are confidently beautiful with a heart. You can even tell from your answers. You have every intention to leverage this year to be the best it can be, giving a voice to people using your platform. I'm so excited to follow along this journey along with like 2 million more people. Guys, can we talk about how she hit 1 million going into the show? And after the show, she's now over 2 million followers. I can't imagine how she felt waking up in the morning and opening that. This girl going places. I went editing my behind the scenes video at Miss Universe last year. I, I pulled some content of Pia's homecoming. Is that gonna happen again, but more? Is that float gonna be like a giant volcano with lava now and she'll just like appear? Either way, can someone let Sierra and I know when that is and more coming? I'm very excited to see what Catriona does. I love her name, Catriona, Catriona. I can say it all day long. Yes, Pat, we say it all the time, but Philippine fans are the best fans in the pageant world. They, they're just so, they're just so, so loyal. Happy right now. Deshauna is thrilled. No. I and told y'all from day one it was going to be Philippines or Vietnam and they should let her play. I'm South happy South. with the results. Like, they didn't do nothing crazy. Like, South yeah. Africa. Catriona spoke for herself. I mean, she answered very well. She walked the ramp with confidence, you know. Um, it was so natural to her. She was having a lot of fun. I feel that Catriona deserved to win because she was one of the most prepared girls. And I always say, if you prepare well, you will do very well in the competition. Mm. And you can tell, she practiced her walks, mm -hmm. the way she spoke. The hair turns, the hair flips, mm -hmm. Wait, was, is everything. That a, it get... I just want to say I am so freaking excited for the new Miss Universe being Katarina Gray. Now, I wanted Vietnam or Philippines. I'm very disappointed that Vietnam did not make it to top five, but I am proud all around. 
Isa sa mga excited na makita si Catriona ay si 2014 Miss World Philippines Valerie Wayman. 2011 sila nagkakilala at nagkasama rin sa iba't ibang modeling projects. Ang tawag nila sa isa't isa, Tweenie. She's always upbeat. She's always fun to be with. Like someone you can really rely on. Like, for example, you're not feeling well 3 a.m. in the morning. You can call her and she will be there for you. Nang mabigo si Catriona na may uwi ang Miss World Crown noong 2016, isa si Valerie sa mga humikayat sa kanyang muling sumabak sa beauty pageant. And she also said, ano kaya, should I give it another shot? I said, yeah, why not? I mean, you never know. I mean, this might be your destiny. And the rest is history, ika nga. I miss you.